Good morning, I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Well, I said I would update you on what happened last night. Nothing good happened. Um, it did not rain. The sheep did not go on the trailer to go out west. And I did not get a call back about a new shearing date. <laughs> so... I did talk to the livestock hauler though. He's actually a really, really good guy. Um, I understand that he's on the road and it's hard for him to communicate, so he only communicates when he stops. But he's uh, worked with us uh, for quite a few years now and he's really good. Anyway, the sheep are going out west on Sunday. So that's tomorrow. And I'm fine with that because yesterday we were way too tired to be up late at night loading sheep on a trailer. So I'm actually glad for that one. The lack of the rain, I'm not happy about. Today we got like a windstorm. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, been depressing. Except for Buddy returning. That's still a great thing. Anyway, let's get to the barns. We got some sheep to let out. Okay, these girls are the first that are going to be let out today. They have a lot of anticipation on their faces because a good thing about today is that it's way cooler. It's about 10 degrees Celsius cooler today. So everyone's feeling a lot friskier, I think. Hi, you girls. Do you want to go out? Do you? I think you do. So Arnie has taken, we baled the hay yesterday in their paddock and we removed the bales today. So these guys are going to have their pathways and we'll see if that helps them graze a little better. Come on out, join the crew. Come on, finish what you're eating and hurry up. There you go, good girl. Not sure how much waffling we're gonna get with all this wind tonight, today. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me and the wind's not blowing right into my microphone. Oh, they're still not moving that fast. Now we're going to take the fall you lambs out. Ben, come here. And the mom. Ben, come here. Good boy. You're doing a great job, but not too close. You got to give him a little space. Here, here. So we, you don't want to pressure them too much because they're bunging up at the doorway because, you know, inevitably the first few go out and they stop there and block everyone else. Come on, you guys. Move it. Move it. Come on. Go through. That's it. Come on. Come on. Okay, stay back, Ben. Good boy. There. They've all gone out. There's a lot of grass out here for them. They've been locked in for a couple of days as Arnie's been doing the hay. Okay, Ben, Max! There, she gets to run. One day I'm going to catch her and get the wool off her because we know uh, probably it's not good to have a shearer do it if we ever get one. Okay, next we have the adult ewes to go out, and same thing with their paddock. The one we cut down with the pathways, the hay's been picked up, baled, and removed from the pasture. So today, they get to go out into a new paddock. Okay, I'm back at the gate. They're all anticipating going out. But they don't know that there's a new pasture. 
Are you guys excited? Do you guys want to go out and frolic and get parasites? Where they're going. They don't realize they got a new proposition today. That gives me a chance to lock up the gates here. Where are you guys going? The wrong way. You guys are all going the wrong way. So we're gonna go around and chase them back. This way, Max. Let's show them where they're going. The gates are wide open in front of them, but they're such creatures of habit. Max, come here. Go on that Turn way. Around. That way. Turn around. Max. Come on, you guys. Oh, my goodness. The gate is wide open there. That way, turn around. You can't be that simple. Come on. You know, if we didn't want them to escape, they would all be through that gate. Like, where are they going? Max, come here. Ben, come here. Come on. You guys just can't figure that out. Come on, Ben. Oh my goodness. Who would think? That open gate is literally 10 feet from the gates that I opened to their barn. 10 feet, now they're miles away. This is a mental disorder, you guys. Go on. Go back. Go on. Good boy, Ben. Now let's, the real question will be when they get around the barn, when they make the corner here, if they make the corner, will they all run into the barn or will they all run out the open gate? There we go, around the corner. And we got some in the barn. There's that open pasture there right in front of them. There, I think they've noticed it. It's only a 16 foot gate, so I can see why they may not see it. Uh. Okay, now they're happy running down the path. Okay, so because they're out there on either side of the fence, <laughs> both groups are running now. And that gets the little lambs excited too in their little paddock. The old girl back there has a little lamb that likes to hang around with her. So that's good, she's got company. These dorsets are still doing what they always do, grazing at the front of the pasture and not moving out. It's a really, really bad habit that they have. But these guys, if you can hear me over the wind roar, 
are having a great time. <laughs> They're running and running in that deep grass. These are the taller ones. They're used. They're not so afraid of the deep grass. Mind you, when they're running through it, they're just trampling it. And now they've made it to the pathway. These guys will take a little while to get used to where everything is here. So they're going to run around and explore for a little while. Like I say, this breeze is making the temperature feel a lot nicer. Yesterday was so hot. It was really hard to function. Got a group right here that's, they're just sitting grazing, but you can see how tall the grass is. Sorry for the instability, but I'm hand holding and the wind is really strong. Last barn to let out. Hey buddies, you want to go outside? No fighting today. Usually on cool days they all start fighting. Hey buddy. Hi you guys. Hi. Hi, let's get your salt minerals done. How you doing sweetheart? Hi. Hi. Oh, buddy, this is the guy going away tomorrow. 5.37. Hey, this is why you check your drinkers every single day. Because it looks like somebody puked all in here. Like, that's regurgitated grasses. Like, it's cud and stuff. But there's no way they can drink that. It's all acidic. And a terrible mess. Okay, we're letting the girls out. Oh, the wind. I'll try to get out of the wind. They're a little bit sheltered over here. As these guys leave the barn and come around this way. <laughs> Off they go. You're behind, honey. Go catch up. Oh, you're a pet, too. You're behind everybody. You gotta hurry up and catch them. They're all gonna go without you. Max, stay here. Max? What are you doing? Why would you want to go back in? You just went out. You just got out. You don't need to go back in. Go on out. Why are you doing that? Go join your buddies. There. Still windy. Just came out to check on the sheep. Here's a few laying in the shade. 
and the wind's blowing my camera like crazy. We got a pile again. Right now we're bringing all the rams in because we have to tattoo the ram that's going to BC. How come there's so many doggies in here? Like I said yesterday, because he's going to a new farm, we wanted to make sure he was dewormed before he left. We used some Valbazine for him. Do you want me to just put ink in his ears for now? Yep, just ink him up. Just, just, just put the face on, on there. Yeah? do the tattoo, first we put ink on his ear. I'll do it. Then with the tattoo clamp, we put our farm initials in one ear and his number in the other ear. He's going to be 7L. So you clamp down and it puts little holes in his ear and then with a toothbrush we rub the ink in to make sure that it is a good catch. She should be quite happy with this ram because he's a really well behaved little guy and he's not that little either. Give me a spray can. Uh, I put a mark on that I can pick him out tomorrow as so he's running all over the barn trying to find him. I'll do it. I'll do it. I wanted to put a big heart on him. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Just hold him and pretend for the camera that you're in a you're really nice. There we go. Is that hard? Okay, we're letting him go. Just well, this, is, this is the guy, he's 7L, and he's going to Amanda in BC tomorrow. I put a green heart on him because he's a boy, and he's going to go to a good home. Tomo we're going to catch Andrew's two ewe lambs and put two red hearts on them. They don't need a tattoo because they're commercial sheep but they uh, do need a marker so we can find them easily. We're just uh, doing some barn decorating right now. Thanks, it's 
about tattooing a sheep for five seconds and he does this for five hours. <laughs> well if I had it healthy, I'd have it done. That's not a healthy. If I had Alexis I wouldn't be here. All done. I guess it's that time of day again. Every, we got all our wall art back up and everybody's set in the barn. So it's time to make dinner. So I hope you enjoyed your day with us. If you did, please like, subscribe, you know all that. And uh, tell your friends about us. And please be sure to comment because I'm finding that it's actually becoming a really nice community like all of us are talking back and forth and it feels a lot more personal that way. I like it that way and I hope you do too. Anyway, be sure to join us tomorrow because these days there's a lot going on on the farm. So bye for now.